The title of this lecture is Destructive Leadership. Leadership can make things happen, but also bad things. Most business people associate the idea of leadership with positive qualities, qualities they themselves aim to possess in order to be selected as leaders. However, leadership can be destructive. To show this, I will summarize six areas that are part of destructive leadership. First, narcissistic leadership. There are various behaviors which are associated with narcissistic leadership. Some of these include entitlement, superiority, and the manipulation of others. Second, toxic leadership. Toxic leadership can be associated with things such as being controlling and micromanaging. Toxic leaders do not think about how their followers are doing, and they do not look out for the followers' best interests. Third, laissez-faire leadership. Laissez-faire leaders are calm and passive. They do not do enough work, do not meet their responsibilities, and do not achieve team objectives. They are often distracted or away from their work. Fourth, abusive leadership. There are various behaviors which are associated with abusive leadership. Some of these include hostility. For example, a leader who has suffered sometimes redirects their anger and hostility towards their followers. Fifth, dark charisma. Many have heard the saying, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. The truth is, power sometimes corrupts charismatic leaders. These leaders begin to pursue their own interests rather than the interests of the company. And lastly, we have unethical leadership. Unethical leaders lie, manipulate, shift blame, and cause conflicts. 